and Pop Century. Good luck, everybody. And we'll see who gets which checklist celebrities in just a minute after the huge random of 290 owner names. Every spot worth 10 on the checklist. Here we go seven times. Yeah, 290 it is. All right, here's a lucky number seven for everybody in the break. Good luck. On down the list all the way to 290. All right, here we go with our checklist random coming up. This doesn't look right. Let me see. Is this the right list? I think this might be the Trinity list. Let me see. Yeah, that's that's the wrong list. Hang on one second. I'm sorry. Here's our right list. Okay. There are some big sports names in here, like Muhammad Ali. Here we go, seven times. Good luck, everybody. Lucky number seven. All right, so now you can see your celebrities right here. And uh, so we'll see what happens in the break. There's Gene Simmons. There's Jennifer Love Hewitt. And John Bon Jovi's in this. I'm just going to go on down the list. Man, that'd be cool to have Robert Duvall. He's been in so many great westerns and just different types of movies. There's Muhammad Ali, Kurt. On down the list. It is a long list of very prominent celebrities. 
There's Mickey Mantle, Jorge. Let's pull a Mickey Mantle. Mark Wahlberg. Burt Reynolds for Joseph R. All right. And so that's our everybody owning a checklist name. And believe it or not, there are some that are not going to be on the checklist. If it's um, uh, not owned on the checklist, it's going to be considered a dead spot. And a dead spot just simply means that uh, it doesn't get counted for the majority. Uh, if you know, it's not going to take up a number on our randoms for l determining ownership. And the dead spot does not mean it takes up a number or anything like that. It's just a dead spot if that happens. So you see what I mean if that does come up. I just wanted to mention that beforehand, though, that there are, not every single thing is, every single person is, is listed. I think every single uh, is listed, but sometimes if it's like a... Um, multi piece then we didn't list a few people that were on the multi ones because there's a lot of like triple relics and stuff like that and if it was a person who was just on like a triple relic we didn't list them so anyway we have something right here i just want to kind of line things up so we're not giving everything away right off there's only four hits. So here we go. Hit number one. Hit number one is a Linda Blair. And so let's see who has Linda Blair. In this Pop Century box break. Arturo, congratulations. This one is for you. Alinda Blair. Congratulations. The next hit. And Pop Century is a classic Rolls autograph of Shirley Joes, who played in the Partridge family. Shirley Partridge. Shirley Jones. And so this one's going to come out to Joseph R. Congratulations. Joseph R. And I, I, this is going to be a really nice low numbered autographed parallel. Look at that. One of two. Ho! One of two. Classic rolls. Shirley Jones, Shirley Partridge. And the next hit is going to be a multi-piece. This is one of the multi-type trios. Jennifer Aniston, Matthew Perry, and Cordy Cox. Two out of the three is needed to be owned to, for this not to go to random. Two out of three is needed to be owned. Jennifer Aniston. And it will go to random between the, the owners. I believe Aniston is a dead spot. Aniston. I'm not getting anything for Aniston. So that only leaves two. So you know it's going to go to random unless somebody owns both of those. Matthew Perry is not owned either. Oh my gosh. How about Courtney Cox? Courtney Cox. Well, that's Nikki Cox. 
There is no Courtney Cox either. So all three of these have no owner. They're all dead spots. They're all dead spots. Isn't that something? I was, I was telling you guys about how dead spots work, and then we get one that just has no ownership whatsoever. It's going to get random between everybody. <laughs> Everybody gets a shot at this one. I just can't believe that. I can't. I didn't spell anything wrong. I went through it. I checked. All right. So that that's uh. Let's get to the next hit. Coming out of the box break. Our final hit is a cut signature. A very interesting. Looks like a check here. That was uh, $25 from L.A. by this gentleman. That's going to go to Joseph R. in the box break. Congratulations, Joseph R. with this cut signature from Pop Century. That is terrific. <laughs> That is terrific. So, it, it, you can see it's definitely from L.A. It's one of those California celebrities. I don't know a lot about him, but I imagine there's a big Wikipedia or Google write-up all about this particular character. I'm sure there's a lot to know about him. All right, now we're going to get to the big random. Good luck, everybody. The trios. And uh, we're just going to put everybody through here. Seven times. Winner will be at the top of this after seven. For this hit. I'm just going to take just an extra minute. Just to confirm, I have not made a mistake. And the easiest way for me to do that, make sure it's Jennifer Aniston, Jay for the whole checklist is here that we use. And there's no Jennifer Aniston there. There's no Matthew Perry in the M section. And there's no Courtney Cox in the C's. All right, so I feel a little bit more confident now. I haven't made any mistakes. Hey, let's go ahead back to the random. Seven times through. What is on the top list after seven? <laughs> Who is he, Blue Tape? Is he pretty famous? <laughs> Lucky number seven. Joseph R., congratulations. You have the trios. Hit in the box break of Courtney Cox, Jennifer Anderson, and Matthew Perry. So these are friends, right? Matthew Perry, he's one of the friends. There are some really diehard fans of friends, and I'm pretty sure that's what that's that's this trio's right here. So that's awesome. Very nice hit. Nineteen forties major leading man was uh, Cornell Wild. So that's nineteen forties celeb. Interesting. Leading man in the forties.